Good morning, everyone, and welcome to The Total Picture. This week, we have our special tour of our soybean processing facility, so let's get right into it. So the first thing we have to do is get our beans from the field to our facility. And so this is kind of where our soybeans take their first divergent from our corn. So we use a combine to harvest our soybeans, which for our corn, we use a picker, which keeps our corn in the husk and a full ear, whereas our soybeans on a combine, it brings in the soybeans and stock and all, it does a thrashing and it gets our beans out of the pod and then we discard the stalks and the pods in the field. So what we get back out of our field is just the soybeans. So when we come back to our facility, we don't have to go through that uh, initial sorting process of getting the beans out of our truck um, like we would for corn where we have to take the husks off and get it shelled. We don't have to remove anything, it's just our beans. There's obviously dust and small debris but we start out with just having our beans. So we go to our bean dump, and here's where we transfer our beans from our semis into our facility. They get dumped into this grate, and this grate will take them under our facility into a bin for storage until they're ready to be processed. So once our beans are ready to be processed, we take them from our bins into our facility, and their first step is to be scalped. And like our corn, this is just a sizing measure. So we don't want beans that are too big or too small. We want that perfect size soybean seed. So we go through the scalper, we get that first initial sort out of the way, and then we send our beans back up to a color sorter, which again is very much so like our corn processing, where we're looking for imperfections, we're looking for marks um, and discoloration and things like that, that point to that this seed might not be good for this specific variety. So it runs to the color sorter and it's, it's the same process. It looks at the bean from all angles, and if it's good, it sends it past, and if it's bad, it gets knocked out with a puff of air. And so it cycles through a couple times until eventually we say, okay, this, these beans are bad, those get discarded, and the ones that make it through go down to our gravity. And so from there, it goes down to our gravity, which again is very much so like the corn. It gets aspirated with air, so there's a layer of air that it sits on, and as it shakes, um, the high-density beans travel up to the top, the low-density beans travel down to the bottom. And so we get the perfect density of our beans, they come out, and again, we cycle through a couple of times to make sure that you know nothing's getting missed in the mix. Um, and again, eventually we just have to discard the beans that are too low of density. But the ones that make it through go up and they're put into a hopper and they're ready to be treated. So we go upstairs to our continuous feed treater. And this treater, it's continuously rotating, taking in soybeans and constantly treating them and feeding them out on this conveyor. So the beans you see coming out are fully treated. They are just drying and they are getting ready to uh, go down to our bagging line. And then so obviously our final step is bagging. Um, it happens right here. We get them into the bag. They have a label sewn onto them. They're sewn shut. They go down, we stack them for a pallet. So as you can see, our soybean processing has a lot fewer steps than our corn processing, but it's just as intricate, just as detailed, and just as important as our corn processing because we have to make sure that the soybeans that we are sending out uh, to our customers are the perfect bean, they are pure, that they are the right variety, and that our customers are getting the best beans that we can offer them, because that's what we're here to do. We're here to make the best seeds in the world. Um, it's what we stand by, and our soybeans are no exception to that. But that's the end of our tour. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look into our soybean facility. And I hope you guys stay tuned as we continue to update you on everything that we have going on as we head into winter. For now, thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have more content from us, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok. And if you want even more content from us, you can go subscribe to our monthly Total Focus newsletter. Anyway, thank you guys again for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this tour of our soybean facility. We'll see you next week.